morning. Here's the canyon I'm working up. Should take me a couple days to get where I'm going. Okay, I'm heading down this dirt road and I'm gonna go down into this... What was that? Whoa! <laughs> Something's peeled all the bark off that. I think it was that giant moose. Probably getting the felt off his paddle antlers. That was pretty scary. Did kind of a false charge and they, they just walked down the road. Scared me to, to pieces. Let's see what else is in this down here. A little nervous here. I'm gonna put up the game camera over here. I can imagine how scary it would be to see a giant ape-like squatch. That moose about scared me to death. In Minnesota there was a guy killed by one of those things when I lived there. Look at those chunks out of that tree. All right. Heard something else in here. Hopefully it's not another big moose or something. They do uh, stomp people like me. I'm always impressed by these giant leaves. You can see the difference with my bear spray. A leaf is huge. Some of them three yards long. Boy, I gotta get out of this canyon. That moose kind of rattled me a little bit. It's been munching on these. It's been munching on these leaves right here. Something's been munching on them. I imagine that big moose. Here's some fresh urine. I imagine it's from the moose. On this game trail in here. I don't know who would win in a battle about big moose and a squatch, but or a grizzly bear or whatever. I know it wouldn't be me, so I'm getting out of here. That leaf, it's almost as tall as I am. Here's a vertebrae bone. Vertebra. 
sitting in in the woods here. I don't know what species that's from. It's fairly large. This is some sort of stinging nettles plant and my skin is just burning from rubbing up against one of these and it hurts really bad. I gotta get out of these woods though because sounds like the moose is coming back. Yeah, setting the game cam up. Okay, it's working. Good night, John boy. Nothing on the game camera this morning. I was hopeful, but uh, no luck. Over here you can see where the moose has been uh, hitting that tree, getting the velvet off its uh, horn paddles, antler paddles, whatever they refer to them. There's some mud down there in the... Oh, here's something. There's some mud down there, but I don't see any prints of any sort. I'm lucky that uh, I think I woke that moose up so he wasn't 100% uh, as aggressive as he could have been. But anyway... See where some animals come through here last night. See the stomped on uh, vegetation. It's wilted and stepped on right here. A lot of airplanes this morning. Overhead. You can't really hear much. But You can see where last night something came through here. Some animal smashed up these little sticks and whatnot. Here you can see these uh, the petals off the pine cones that they uh, there's mounds of this stuff in the forest where. Uh, animals like squirrels and whatnot uh, peel the pine cones to get the nuts out and they leave these big mounds of debris. It's like something was feeding on these large leaves probably last night because these broken off ones are just stomped on and wilted. They really munched on that one. And this one and uh, stepped on this one and over there similar a lot of a uh, whole lot of munching going on down here it's a cool morning right now but uh, during the day in July, it's quite warm and something has bedded down in this little stream. And judging how it tromped through this large leafed vegetation, it was something quite large. So there's no footprints of any type. The thing about the moose is it leaves really, it's got really heavy, angular, hard feet that leaves a lot of tracks. No tracks. Everything, all these leaves have been nibbled on. So who knows? Most likely the bull moose. This uh, branch right here was 
cracked off last night. Crossed branches there, which may have no significance whatsoever, whatsoever, but. it almost to camp one first night Here's what a lot of the Sasquatch researchers document these uh, elongated sticks set here, here, and here, and then the, in the Y of the tree there's another stick. Whether it has significance, significance or not, I do not know. I gotta make it through this thicket. Another down tree split. Significance unknown at this time. Another tree pushed over. Something scurried up there, stepped on the log and broke it in half and went up that direction. Some animal species uh, debarking this log in search of uh, larvae and grub. Grubs, which is their grub. Came up across something very interesting down here in this thicket in the deep woods. It's a watering hole. It's summer, so everything, all the creeks are drying up. So, other than going down to the larger rivers, this would be where people, people or animals would go for a get their hydration there looking for footprints now something quite heavy that had toes stepped here in the mud and then there's the uh, heel right let me do this here's a heel mark here's heavy toes right here I'm thinking uh, fairly fairly medium medium bear or large another it went through this way stepped on that log smashed it here's a dry creek bed again it's uh, getting to be summer and the creek beds a lot of them creeks are drying up here's a medium sized a small moose came through this area Another uh, pushed over tree, fresh. Some species has uprooted this tree. Some things walked through this uh, grassy, meadowy area here and went on this way. Most of the mud is devoid of tracks. Teepee type structure as they refer to it in the vernacular of Squatchin. Front paw of a bear right here. Meta metacarpal phalanges present and claws. Something heavy has uh, stepped on that log and decimated it. The stinging nettles in here are just ripping up my legs, man. Here's a very thick uh, thistle group. This stuff's got some big thorns, but it's uh, edible, the roots and whatnot. The thistles have their fruit, and I'm in the middle of a huckleberry patch. So I will evacuate the area. This is prime bear feeding area here, and there's more berries right there on that tree right there so I best uh, mosey on down out of the bear country the Northwest has uh, giant 
her really big dandelions. That's as big as a, bigger than a grapefruit there. Oh.